What's up guys, Josh from California 3 mylandscom We're in Joshua Tree National Park hiking to the Lost Palm Oasis. Located in the southern section of Joshua Tree National Park, Lost Palms Oasis is a popular hike that's over 7 miles with an optional 1.5 mile add-on to go to Mastodon Peak. The trail leaves from the Cottonwood Springs Trailhead and passes another small oasis right at the beginning of the trail. That's the parking lot right there and we are heading out on the trail, Lost Palm Oasis. This is not the oasis, 3.6 miles this way. Honestly, the Cottonwood Springs Oasis is pretty good, so if you only have time to hike Mastodon Peak, you'll still get a good view of a desert oasis. There's the parking lot. We're about a quarter of a mile into the trail. The trail begins relatively level as you're pretty much just walking on a wash. This is the junction to Mastodon Peak, which is that one right there. Adds a mile and a half or so to the total hike. Here's some footage of last time I was there. Basically this entire hike is just rolling hills. Up one side, down the other. There are lots of great views of the plants and rocks that make Joshua Tree so popular though. So you can actually see the Salton Sea way out there. We have made it to mile marker two, more of the same. After mile marker two, the trail gets a little bit more unique as you go down into a small ravine and continue walking along the desert wash. As you are walking down this dry creek, do not miss the sign that direction. Hang downhill a little bit more and then going over that ridge. After going over the ridge, there's one more long flat section before you make your final descent to the Palms Overlook. We've reached almost the end of the hike, so we gotta go all the way downhill for about 300 feet of elevation to get to the oasis. Note that if you come here in the summer, there's no shade, so bring lots of water and sun protection. This is the overlook, but if you're feeling up to it, 200 feet down to the oasis itself. The sign fell off, so Chris is demonstrating where we go. This is the largest collection of California fan palm trees in the park, so it is pretty cool to see nestled in the canyon. This section is a little bit steep, so some people choose to just stay at the overlook, but you can walk down to the oasis. This section is steep with loose rocks, so if you walk down here, be sure to be careful on the way back up. We made it to Las Palms Oasis. The oasis is pretty big and well shaded, so it's a great place to escape the heat and have some lunch before heading back. One interesting note is that the California fan palm tree is the only palm tree native to California. Thanks for hiking with Chris and I. Go to lastadventure.com or california through my lens.com for more. We will see you next week. Just in case you were wondering, Chris does have a fanny pack on. It's hard to find good company.